Morning guys, I'm in Facebook jail. I thought I had one more Maccabees video to upload, but uh, I think they're all there. So before I put this away till next Christmas, I thought we would do a quick video on light. And this is an old paper, really old, 2012. So more light quotes are available on my website right there. Read that where science meets religion. Dot blogspot dot com, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, past all the pictures underneath, and there's a bunch of links down there, and you'll find a link actually to something called the theory of light. Anyway, but I'm just gonna read these real fast since we're in Facebook jail, and people are probably wondering. And Asedra, as you know, is in the Catholic Bible. And this I said one time that the Catholic Bible is better than the King James Bible because of the Apocrypha. And that's just how it is. <laughs> okay, so sorry all you King Jamers, but the Apocrypha is very important knowledge. And the Books of Wisdom, I could look to like a woe to the King Jamers who are missing that vital piece of information. But anyway, here's 2 Cedrus 14, 25. Come here, I will light in your heart the lamp of understanding. It won't be extinguished until you have written everything down. And for those of you struggling out there, it's the statutes. Uh, 1 John 2.10, the person loving a brother and sister stays in the light, and there is nothing in the light that causes a person to stumble. 2 Corinthians 4.6, God said that light should shine out of the darkness. He is the same one who shone in our hearts to give us light of the knowledge of of God's glory in the face of Jesus Christ. To Asedra 797, the sixth order, when they are shown how their faces begin to shine like the sun and how they begin to be like the stars as beings of incorruptible light. To Asedra 114, I gave you a call column of lightning for light. These are many wonderful deeds that I performed among you, but you have forgotten me, says the Lord. To Asedras 2.35, be prepared for the kingdom's rewards, for everlasting light will shine on you and eternity is prepared for you. Maccabees, 2 Maccabees, 1.32. When this happened, the flame flared up upon these stones, but it went out in the presence of the light shining from the altar. Wisdom 18.1. In contrast, an incredible light shone all around your holy ones. Their enemies heard their voices but couldn't see their physical forms. They considered your holy ones fortunate since they weren't suffering as their enemies were. Sirach twenty four twenty seven. God's God pours forth understanding like light, as does the Gihon spring at the time of the grape harvest. Two Corinthians four. For the God of this age has blinded the minds of those who don't have faith, so they couldn't see the light of the gospel that reveals Christ's glory. Christ is the image of God. 2 Corinthians 6.14 Don't be tied up as equal partners with people who don't believe. What does righteousness share with that which is outside the law? What relationship does light have with darkness? Ephesians 
You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. So live your life as children of light. Ephesians 5, 9. Light produces fruit that consists of every sort of goodness, justice, and truth. Ephesians 5, 14. Everything that is revealed by the light is light. Therefore, it says, wake up, sleeper, get up from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 5. All of you are children of light and children of the day. We don't belong to the night or darkness. Ephesians, oh, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes 2, 13. I saw that wisdom is more beneficial than folly as light is more beneficial than darkness. Isaiah 4, 49-6. He said, It is not enough since you are my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the survivors of Israel. Hence, I will also appoint you as light to the nations so that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Isaiah 58, 8. Then your light will break out like the dawn and you will be healed quickly. Your own righteousness will walk before you and the Lord's glory will be your rear guard. Isaiah 60, 1. Your light has come. The Lord's glory has shone upon you. Job 38, 15. Light is withheld from the wicked, the uplifted arm broken. Psalm 43, 3, send your light and truth. Those will guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Isaiah 63, nations will come to your light and kings to your dawning radiance. Psalm 104-2, you will wear light like a robe. You're, you open the skies like a curtain. The commandment is a lamp. And instruction, a light. Corrective teaching is the path of life. Psalm 97, 11, Light is planted like a seed for the righteous person. Joy, too, for those whose heart is right. Psalm 76, 4, You are ablaze with light, mightier than the mountains that give food. Psalms 119, 130, Access to your words give light, giving simple folk understanding. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, And no wonder even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Wisdom 16. The last one is a little bit lengthy. When terrible, fierce snakes attacked your people and were killing them with their poison... You did not remain angry long enough to destroy your people. The trouble lasted only for a little while as a warning. Then you gave them a healing symbol, the bronze snake, to remind them of what your law requires. If a person looked at that symbol, he was cured of the snake bite, not by what he saw, but by you, the savior of all mankind. By doing this, you also convinced our enemies that you are the one who rescues people from every evil. Our enemies died of the bites of locusts and flies. No way was found to cure them because they deserve to be punished by such creatures. But even the poisonous snakes could not overcome your people because you had mercy and helped them and cured them. They were bitten so that they would remember your commands, but they were quickly rescued in order to keep them from forgetting you completely and depriving themselves of your kindness. No medicine or ointment cured them. They were restored to health by your word. O Lord, the word which heals all humanity, you have power over life and death. You can bring a person to the brink of death and back again. A wicked person may kill someone, but cannot bring that dead person back to life or res rescue an imprisoned soul in the world of the dead. Thanks, guys. That was a study on light. 
again, but there's more. This was very old and this has been since been updated and it's online at where science meets religion dot blogspot dot com. Thank you. Thank Jesus for you guys. Please share this because if I can get to a thousand subscribers, um, I'll be able to go live.